may look like one, but this is no dealership. You could throw a grenade at this and they'd be fine. You could fire uh, armored piercing round and they'll be fine. So if someone starts shooting from the front, that stops it. A grenade from below, that stops it. It does. Stripped down to its bones, but in a couple of weeks, this car will be this, turned into a rolling safe. But the key for the company that makes it is that you'd never know. That's the secret. When you get this vehicle, when we're finished, you can't tell it was ever up armored unless you actually start touching the glass. Right. So if I, yeah, I mean, if I bang on that window, my That's knuckles are breaking here. David Fraser knows about being a target. I first met him when he was General Fraser, the Canadian in command of thousands of troops in Afghanistan. And he saw those who needed protection, contractors and diplomats, all driving in vehicles that looked like targets. And that's what we used to ca call them when I was in the Army, we're bullet catchers. So big Suburbans that were driving in, in places where there were no Suburbans, everyone just started shooting at them, even just for fun. Fraser is now the chief operating officer for Incas. So this is going to go to Ukraine and Azerbaijan. They're making defensive vehicles for the world. Exporting is often seen as critical for Canadian corporate success, and 93% of these vehicles are sold abroad. South America, South America, Africa, Eastern, all over, all over Eastern Europe, the Middle East, Southwest Asia. So we are truly are a global company. And the only one of its kind in Canada, selling hundreds of high-end personal armored vehicles every year. These are going to, you say, Ministries of the Interior. What about all these armored vehicles? Who's the clientele? I want to say drug dealer. No, we don't sell to criminals. My bank will not allow me, and this is not our business. We are yeah. selling to legitimate. Every customer has to go through a due diligence process for us yeah. to make sure they are legit. So we're selling to business executives, like in the oil industry, we're selling to ambassadors, we're selling to police forces, we're selling to people that live in areas that they actually need these types of vehicles. Most of their parts are made right here, all their assembly in Canada. They even closed a facility abroad, finding the quality is just better at home. We're insourcing, we're building more in-house, which makes us more price competitive. We run two shifts a day, six days a week. So, how do they know it will work against a bullet? Well, they actually shoot at the parts. On the inside, apart from the now very heavy doors, you'd never know the difference. Well, I've always wanted a Range Rover. That's you look good in a Range Rover. And we've got one for sale for you. And how much? Just give, give me a rough idea. How much will that set me back? Anywhere from about $100,000 to $200,000, depending on what model you want. Okay. Well, that's easy. But not for this one. Oh. This one's, a, this one's a little bit more expensive because it's a Range Rover. Right. I'll hold off for the moment then. David Common, CBC News, Toronto.